Welcome everyone. Now we are going to learn one more topic that is intonation. Intonation. What is intonation? Intonation is a stress in a sentence. Accent in a sentence is called intonation. Accent in a word is called stress. Accent in a sentence is a is called intonation so we have varieties of intonation patterns rising intonation falling intonation rise fall intonation and fall rise intonation so when i am telling you itself you could imagine that how it has to be marked so rising intonation you have to mark so like that from the top it has to rise above so rising intonation falling intonation it has to start from the height to the bottom so, so this way you have to mark and rise fall you have to mark the small inverted v on the top so inverted v and then fall rise that is just v that is fall rise these are the intona intonation patterns so it is in every one speaks any uh, in any one's utterances uh, utterances we could notice that what kind of a meaning they want to convey only through the intonation or the stress they used to give so i will explain to you how the total meaning of a sentence is changed only because of the intonation or the stress in a sentence so uh, one sentence let me take one sentence or one question so i will ask you how are you how are you this sentence conveys that i am asking you that are you okay so some kind of a concern love and affection really i wanted to know that how are you so if i ask you how are you now the stress is on r a r e the b verb here it seems that i got angry over you and i am reflecting that hatred towards you when i asking you that question that it's not uh, affectionately i didn't ask you or compassionately i didn't ask you you know that i i i i hate you like anything i just wanted to uh, ask you how are you so now you understand that the second type of a question is not of concern itself it tot it reflects that i hate you okay and then next type please listen how are you so in this one i gave i put stress in the last one you this sentence denotes that something sarcasm how could you be good after all those troubles like that so how are you can you be good so like that so it is sarcasm so only three words the question mark it is a interrogative question but it does not require any answer from you but it conveys different meaning so we have seen that so in the first sentence the stress is on how are you how so it is love and affection it conveys second sentence it reveals that utmost hatred towards the uh, uh, the one who is in front of you and the third one it reflects that it is totally sarcasm it reveals that sarcasm sarcastically he asked that question so this is how intonation reveals different kinds of meanings when the person speaks or utters that sentence so intonation is nothing but the stress we put in a sentence so let me take one more example also and uh, and you will remember and 
if you go out you may get into trouble so during this pandemic the government asks us to stay at home safe stay safe stay safe so like that if you go out you may get into trouble this is the sentence condition class clause the condition clause if you go out please listen how you have to mark falling intonation and rising intonation here if you go out here now if in that one rising intonation if you go out there it is falling intonation if you go out you may get into trouble so again rise and then fall this is how you have to speak so if you go out you may get into trouble so rising intonation falling intonation so that is intonation so every day we used to speak with stress and intonation in in any language but we are not aware that that is stress or that is intonation so i hope that you understood the concept accent and intonation through this lecture hope you enjoy thank you welcome